guys what's up it's your girl morgs i am back with another video uh before we get started i just wanted a tiny disclaimer this video is going to be about the fixtures so if you do not like plastic surgery please no hate comments just skip this video wait till my next one i'm going to be talking about where i went how much it costs what i put in my bag for my surgery day my surgery day is tomorrow so i cannot wait to share all those details with you guys so don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so that way you can get notified on any future videos that I post. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, you guys, we're here. I have scoured the internet up and down about breast augs, boob job sizes, the cups, the CCs. So I'm just going to let you guys know now. I am going with tomorrow uh, 480 on one and 530 on the other because one boob is larger than the other, so that is in cc's. So 480 cc's on one, 530 cc's on the other. That ranges from like a D to a double D if I'm not mistaken, so I want the girls a little bit larger. If you guys don't know, I have always been pretty flat chested up here. A cups flat as a door basically so I am going big or going home all right so what's next where I'm going I am going to Dr. Genevieve in San Antonio Texas he is the best in South Texas in my eyes I absolutely love his office everything is in-house so whenever you book your appointment your consultation your pre-op all of that is going to be in the same place surgery it's all there so you're not like traveling from one place to another it is in-house everything is there um i got a special for my boobs and <laughs> it feels so weird saying boobs but um i got a special for my breast aug and it was fifty five hundred dollars for the girls appointment day so i already had my pre-op i'll put a little bit of that in this next slide okay, so my surgery day is tomorrow at five in the morning they called me today and they let me know hey your appointment is at five you need to bring all of your medications which i'm going to show you here in a second i purchased the bundle aftercare kit from them so I have everything in my bag ready to go. I um, set up a hotel close nearby to where Dr. Genevieve's office is so that way I can just wake up, head over there, go back to the hotel, rest for the night, and then drive back the next day. So what's in my bag? Um, me and my husband are going out, so I brought my makeup bag. This is like all of my makeup necessities. We are going to Texas City, Brazil tonight, so I just wanted to be able to touch up my makeup before we went there then i have my um shampoo conditioner face wash all of that stuff in this bag i also brought my jug little flask because they say that you're so thirsty afterwards from having the tube in your mouth so i just wanted to be able to have cool nice water right after but the clothes that i brought for after surgery is just a track suit um, sweatpants and this fuzzy sweat shirt jacket um, it is like fuzzy inside because it's supposed to be like in the 40s tomorrow in the morning so after surgery just to be chilly I wanted something that was gonna zip up over everything because it's gonna be really hard to lift my hands and like pull my clothes back on so this is what I'm wearing after surgery I also am bringing my Crocs um, so I could just slip my feet in there and go. All right, you guys. So Dr. Genevieve, let me know that um, your hair cannot be wet when you go in. No makeup, moisturizer, lotion, no underarm deodorant. I sweat so freaking bad. So I'm like, ugh. So the night before, after I get out of the shower, which is tonight, um, I'm going to just do two braids. I bought these elastic bands and have two braids going down. So that way the hair can be out of my face for a few days. I'm not gonna be washing my hair for at least like three, four days. I will probably take like a wipey bath or um, just bathe certain areas because I know I can't get anything wet for the first uh, 24 to 72 hours. If I'm not mistaken. They'll go over that with me um, before surgery, before and after. Then you're gonna wash your body with this two weeks in advance before surgery. Thing I got on Amazon was this recovery pillow. It has these really nice Velcro pieces that connect to your seatbelt. I got it just so that there wasn't lots of pressure from the seatbelt on the girls. 
So I think I'm even gonna use this afterwards just because it looks like it is so comfy and it feels so comfy too. So like I said, I got this from Amazon. Next, we're gonna go into what I got in the kit from Dr. Genevieve's office. All right, you guys, so I have everything separated in these little travel bags. I also got these from Amazon. I wanna say there was like five or six different sizes. Um, just have everything really nice and neat and organized because James is gonna be helping me and if I don't have it like separated nicely, he's not gonna know what's what. So with the aftercare kits, you get your medications. I have three different medications, three or four. I'm not mistaken um and they called these in for me and I just had to pick them up I want to say uh it was like $70 all together um the medications are this medication is temazepam I think this is at nighttime to like give me rest I'm not too sure I just picked everything up the nurse will go over all of that with me whenever I leave then I have hydrocodone which is for the pain I have um promethazine i think that's how you pronounce it and i don't know if this is a, mu a muscle oh this is for nausea and vomiting and then i think this is the muscle relaxer the last one is oh i don't even know how to pronounce that but um so Droxophil? I don't know. But anyways, I think this one is the muscle relaxer. So the next thing in the kit is protein. Um, I picked vanilla. They have like three or four different options. It's really, really important to make sure that your body is getting protein. I will link Dr. Junibee's video on all of the medications and vitamins that come in the kit. It's essential that if you don't get the kit to have similar stuff like it because your body really, really needs that for recovery. The next thing I got in the kit is a multivitamin pack, and I'm really, really excited about these. You can't just get them like at Walmart or Walgreens or anything like that. They have to be prescribed by a doctor. Then we got Arnica as well, and this is just for bruising and swelling and pain. We have oh, Brome, I don't even know, but this is the next thing you get in your kit. You also are getting um, this for digestion. They say after surgery, you get really bloated. So that comes in the kit as well. And then also a probiotic daily balance. So those are all of the vitamins, protein, all that great jazz that comes in the kit that you buy from Dr. Genevieve's. So I opted not to buy the bra from Dr. Genevieve's office. I found some really great ones on Amazon, which I will be showing you here momentarily. Let me get them out really fast. So the compression bras that I bought, like I said, I got them off Amazon. I will link them down below, but this is the first one. It comes in a set of three, if I'm not mistaken, in different colors. It's the zip up one. And I got it in a large just to make sure that I had some extra stretch in it. And then the second type of bra, compression bra I got was this one. And it has the little clasps in the front that you um, kind of like buckle on or clasp together on. So this comes in like two different colors, if I'm not mistaken. So I got those instead of, um, getting the bras from him. They were a little bit cheaper anyways, so I really don't mind that. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much the nitty gritty of what you're going to need. Um, I also bought from the grocery store yesterday tons of protein shakes that are like instant. You just shake them up and drink them. Tons of water. I also got chicken noodle soup, saltine crackers, just in case the medicine like makes me feel nauseous. I can have something that I can keep down. I got um, tons of fruits, vegetables, pineapple juice. They say that's really good for swelling. That's my baby in the background, sorry guys. Um, and then I got lots of chicken and fish, a lot of stuff that's high in protein. So really, really good, clean, healthy foods that um, I've already pre-made. I'm going to bring you guys along with me tomorrow and let you guys know the pain level, what I end up doing. Um, after the fact and I can't wait to bring you guys along so it is like 11 20 we just got back to the hotel we went to go and watch spider-man at the palladium and it was pretty good so I have about 30 minutes or so to drink or eat whatever I want and then after midnight that's it I can't eat anything until after my surgery so I'm gonna go ahead wind down for the night take off my makeup and braid my hair after I shower, take a bath with that, or take a shower with that hibiscus rub, 
yeah, get ready for my surgery. We are about 10, 15 minutes away from Dr. Dunaby's office. So I want to get up around like 4.15 just to make sure I have everything packed and ready to go. So I will catch up with you guys in the morning and I can't wait. All right, you guys, it is almost 4.30. I already showered. My hair is still braided from last night. Um, it was a little wet, so I blow dried it really quick with a blow dryer here. I'm wearing my compression bra already. Um, I know I don't need it, but it was the only clean one that I had. And then wearing my sweatsuit over there because it's really cold outside. So I will catch up with you once we get into the office. you guys I am doing my one week post-op video I thought I was gonna be able to like be up and going by day three but no I have the full week to recover I can only move my arms about this much before it gets a little uncomfortable I meet with Dr. Junaby on Monday just to show him everything see how it's healing I absolutely love my results though I'm wearing my compression bra already my waist looks so small. I feel like Dr. Junaby did an incredible job. His team was so wonderful. I had the best experience and I'm so glad that I went with this size. It was 485 for the left and 530 on the right. So we're looking at like a double D, but yes, they are so nice. I'm going to do an updated video once they drop in fluff about three to six months and an updated bra size for you guys. If you have any questions, just link them down below. Thank you guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on those post notification bells so that we can get notified on any future videos that I post.